Hey there, I'm Dale with Pacific Sun Technologies, and today I'm not here to talk to you about solar energy. I'm here to actually share something about my background, my investigative background at that. See, back in my college days, I actually worked for a private investigation firm, and it was an eye-opening experience. It taught me the ins and outs of thorough research, which I apply to the solar industry and put forth in all my videos that I put out there. And from that investigative background, I learned the art of not taking things at face value, which is something very difficult for some of us. And you know what? Choosing a solar energy provider isn't all that different. And today I want to share with you how to apply some good old fashioned investigative skills to make sure you're making the best choice for your home and family when you're making the switch to clean renewable energy. Of course, if you live in our area of Southern California and you want to just cut all the hassleness out, go ahead and request your hassle-free quote from Pacific Sun Technologies by using the link down in the description below. We really do make the process easy and affordable for you to make the switch to clean renewable energy. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to start off with is your needs. You really need to know what you want when you're going solar how much energy you're currently consuming. You can get that from your utility bill. You really wanna start off with that kind of information and then kind of build from there. Kind of look at it like a case file, right? What are the needs of my home, my family? Those are things that you need to be asking yourself up front. That way you're more prepared when you're talking to companies like Pacific Sun Technologies and getting a quote because they're going to have those same questions for you. So if you do a little bit of legwork early on, it goes a long way as you go down the rabbit hole. Because trust me, you're gonna go down a rabbit hole if you start investigating not just the contractors, but the manufacturers of the equipment that's being offered and the warranties. There's a lot of things that need to be taken into account. So you're gonna wanna consider you know, things like the equipment, the efficiencies, the warranties, and then the level of after sales service. This is something that's so easily overlooked, but yet is so important and vital moving forward in a renewable future. We have to have service abilities in the industry. And sadly, the industry is lacking heavily in that. It's one of the only contracting industries that I'm aware of that there's very few service providers, if they didn't install it, they don't care about your system. And that's just disappointing. Here at Pacific Sun Technologies, we care about everybody. Whether we installed your system or not, we're there to help you keep your system online. So I think that's something you wanna start off your investigation with is doing your research at the service level. Does the company service systems that they didn't install? And if they don't, you kinda of have to weigh that out. Why don't they service systems that they didn't install? If they service their own systems, what would be so hard about them servicing other people's systems? Because it's all fundamentally the same technology. Now, once you get into that research phase, this is where my investigative background really comes into play. You don't just skim the surface. You don't just take things at face value, whatever that sales rep's telling you at your door, you wanna look up the reviews, you wanna ask for testimonials, and you even wanna dive into the depths of the second page on Google results. You would be freaking surprised at what you're going to uncover. When I was on a case, the investigative breakthroughs that came through for me were where others weren't looking, and I was really good at what I did. So I'm applying that for solar providers. This means you need to be checking their license, checking their insurance, checking if they have any complaint history. And you should be doing this on the state domain. You shouldn't be looking at the Better Business Bureau. That's, that's no different than Yelp. For us in California, we have a phenomenal state website for contractors. It's the California State Licensing Board. And you can visit cslb.ca.gov. And on there, you're going to find plenty of clues when you're navigating the space. The salesperson is supposed to be licensed. The contractor is obviously so, supposed to be licensed. Every piece of information that you're able to get from that company is helpful in your research of that company if you wanna do business with them. Obviously, when you're investigating equipment, it can be a little difficult to navigate that space, but this is also worth pointing out, California also has a space for 
manufacturers to have their equipment listed and approved by the state of California. I can't say that for every state, but you can check the CEC website. That's the California Energy Commission's website. And if you Google CEC solar equipment list, guess what? You're going to find batteries. You're going to find inverters. You're going to find solar panels. If a product's being offered to you and it's not listed on there, you probably don't want to go with it because it's not going to actually get approved for net metering on your home. So those are red flags. And those were the bread and butters in my investigative days. And in the solar world, these could be the things that prevent you in having a great transition in the sustainable world. Trust your gut at the end of the day. If something feels off from that company or that person that you're dealing with, it probably is. Remember, it's not just about the right now, right? I know you want to save money right now. I know you want to make the switch to clean renewable energy right now. That's awesome. But it's also about ensuring long-term satisfaction with your investment. You don't want a product when there's no customer support, whether it's from the contractor, the salesperson, or the manufacturer. That's helping no one. And that's not doing you any good service when you've made the investment into a better future. I'm here to help you. And I hope, you know, by me sharing some of my background, that resonates with you and will allow you to request your quote on our website so we can help you navigate this space. I'm here to answer your questions regardless of what it's in reference to. Even if it's a product that we don't offer, I still have conversations on why we don't offer that with some of our customers. So you want to really look beyond that price tag at times and you want to consider the value a company has to offer, the quality of the work and the reliability. A thorough comparison is going to save you not just money, but from future headaches. Trust me, when you go solar and it's done right, you are going to be so happy about having that system installed on your home. And if you don't have a good service provider at the end of the day and an issue does arise, you know, you might have a great experience, but if an issue arises and it takes them 30, 60, 90, six months, I've heard of, to get back to you to service your system, that's not helping you. That's not helping the environment. That's that's not of service. They got their money and they ran basically. So at the end of the day, I just want to help you become sustainable. If that's with Pacific Sun Technologies, awesome. You know, I want you as a customer, but I ultimately just want you to make the switch to clean renewable energy. And a little investigative work goes a long way in making an informed decision, especially when it comes to the solar industry right now. So I hope this guide helped you, and I, I hope you feel more confident in your choice in going solar. Remember, in my opinion, the best decisions are informed decisions. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share your research experience in the comments below. I would love to hear your experience and what helped you navigate the solar industry. And if you got questions about anything, go ahead and leave them down there too. I read the comments and I do reply to our subscribers. So if you're subscribed to the channel and you leave a comment, you bet your butt I'm gonna be talking with you. So thanks for watching, stay curious and keep investigating.